baking with Bifrost. This time I wanted to try to make a mirror glaze for a cake and what better theme for that than a shiny new Tesla. Fancy and electric. Let's bake! What you will need for this satisfying dessert is 225 grams of flour, 350 grams of sugar, 85 grams of cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, two eggs, two and a half deciliters of milk, 1.25 deciliters of vegetable oil, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and two and a half deciliters of boiling water. First line a square cake tin with baking paper so the cake doesn't stick. Then in your mixing bowl add the cocoa powder, sugar and the flour before gently mixing it together on a low speed. When combined add the eggs and mix together. While it's whisking also add the oil and the vanilla extract. Add the milk and combine the batter until it's smooth. Then add the baking soda and mix until it's well included into the batter. Lastly, add the boiling water while whisking, making the batter very liquid but also delicious. Set the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and pour the batter into the prepared cake tin. Insert the cake into the oven and bake for 40 minutes. While the cake is in the oven, I found some black fondant and rolled it out very thin. Then with a knife, I cut out the Tesla logo simply by looking at a picture I found online. Then let the logo sit in room temperature until it's completely hardened. Next up, we need some chocolate ganache. Heat some chocolate, dark or light, whatever you prefer, in a bowl over some boiling water until it's completely melted. Once it's done, add some liquid cream and mix until you have a texture that looks like frosting. Take your ganache and spread it over your cooled cake. Make sure to cover every corner and try to make the layer even so the glaze will look smooth over it. Then put it in the fridge to set. Now to make the mirror glaze itself, you need 3 deciliters of water, 1.5 cups of sugar, 1 box of sweetened condensed milk, 15 sheets of gelatin, 735 grams of white chocolate, and red food coloring. Put the sheets of gelatin in a bowl of cold water to soften up. Meantime, put the water, sugar, and the condensed milk into a casserole and heat it up on a medium heat until it's combined. Make sure to stir around with a spoon so it doesn't stick to the sides. When it starts to foam, squeeze the gelatin free of water and add them to the mixture. Use a whisk to combine everything. Make sure you have the white chocolate in a big heat-proof bowl and pour the warm mixture over it. Let it sit for a few minutes to melt the chocolate, then use a spatula to make sure everything is one smooth mixture. Now use a sift over a casserole or another bowl to pour the glaze through it. That way you'll be sure it doesn't have any lumps in it. Now add the food coloring and carefully mix it in without creating too much air bubbles. Now you just have to let the glaze cool down to about 30 to 35 degrees Celsius, depending on the thickness of the glaze you want. When you have the right temperature, put the cooled cake on a rack and make sure you have a pan or something underneath to collect all the extra glaze, or your kitchen bench will look like a crime scene. Now pour the glaze slowly all over your cake, making sure to cover all the corners and sides. If the glaze is too thin, collect the extra glaze from the pan and do a second coating. When the glaze is set, add the dried Tesla logo carefully on top of the glaze before serving it. And there you have it, a shiny, delicious chocolate cake for all you Tesla fans out there. I hope you liked this video, if you did, please put a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming content. If you happen to like my cosplays and other creations as well, you can follow me on any of these medias and you can also give your support on my coffee page. Until next time, bye!